Hey everybody, this is uh, Uncle Nurky here. Just thought I'd make this video here to show you how um, reverse uh, fill decals, uh, the best way to install them. Now, um, of course, this isn't exactly like putting on a on a guitar headstock. I use this as my test. Uh, this is a, I believe it's a piece of polonia that I put some lacquer on it, acrylic lacquer. So um, not every step uh, when it comes to installation, I can show you because I don't have an infinite amount of uh, headstocks. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate on how to install these reverse uh, filled decals. Now, I use a laser printer uh, and I use highest resolution possible. And what I do is that I actually use acrylic paints uh, to uh, fill in inside the parts that need to be filled in. As you know, I have metallic paints and I have flat paints. This one is a collection of flat paints and there's some markings here with some metallic paints. It, it's just to give a, it's my attempt at tortoise shell, but it uh, looks more like a mess. So um, I was originally doing this for a client, but I'm going to use this as a demo instead. Actually, it, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of uh, Van Halen's guitar a little bit. But anyway, um, I'm going to show you how to do it. Now here I have, uh, I have regular uh, tap water, room temperature. Now this paper, uh, because these are thin and that they don't have a coating on them uh, in order to seal them because they're already waterproof, um, they just need to be soaked. And the best way is just to put it in the water and it's just to get the backing um, wet. And it doesn't have to be in there for more than 10-15 seconds. Now I'm going to try and one hand this of course. So this is enough and here's the trick I have in order to avoid this wrinkling up on you. There will be enough water on the back of this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pat this down and the reason for that is not only to make it flat but also it helps get the water through all the backing paper. Now as you can see once it's wet you can actually see through it and you're going to see what it looks like. And here, this is the magic part, is what I'd like to do to even it out so I like to shimmy it a little bit like this on top of it. This sort of helps um, sort of uh, massage out the wrinkles. It does have to work for you. So I'm going to pause the video right now because uh, I'm also going to be taking a picture of this uh, for my portfolio so that you guys can see it on Facebook as well as on my new store website. So uh, I'll just pause the video. I'll be right back. So there you go, I'm back. Now what I did is just I just slid this paper off and I mean you can still use it. Now I wasn't especially careful here as you'll see between the A and the D here. So there's a little bit of a wrinkle here but uh, if you're not, if you're really careful, I'm not going to use Q-tips here because this is just a demonstration. Uh, but uh, you can sort of massage it out. The important thing with these decals is it has to be on a glossy surface. Uh, like this. Now this glossy surface here in order to make it uh, more resistant is I've of course wet sanded it to level it and then I waxed it and polished it of course. So but uh, these decals especially the reverse uh, decals it's very important that it is on a lacquered or polyed or shellac or whichever top coat that you use to make sure that you just spray on a gloss coat, a nice even wet gloss coat, coat, let it dry and don't do anything to it. Don't sand it to level it, don't then put wax, don't do any of that stuff. Because even though it may look glossy to us, to the naked eye, there's actually little micro scratches that are filled with wax that actually keep uh, these decals from forming a mechanical section that helps them adhere. Because the paper, because I'm using it reverse, uh, the adhesive is actually on this side. It's between the paper and uh, the plastic of the decal. So in order, to counter, in order to counter that, your best bet would be to use as glossy as a surface as possible. Now if, of course, your end goal is to have a satin or a matte finish, then what you do is that you put this on a gloss finish, just the surface. You, know, you don't have to do the entire headstock, of course. 
And then once this is under a few layers of your top coat of choice, then you can add a layer of matte or uh, satin finish as you please. So, yeah, so this is basically how you uh, put in these reverse decals. I mean, i give you another example here. It's another client. I mean, because I do get a lot of questions of people who order these decals and they see these and they're like, what the hell's going on? I mean, it's a reverse and it's awful and it's not what I asked for. Well, it's because it's reverse. So, yeah. So there you go. Anyway, I hope this video helps out and clarifies a few things. If you, of course, you have any questions, feel free to leave uh, comments on the Facebook page and uh, or send me a message. I'm um, be more than glad and happy to help. Thanks for watching.